I originally planned to start making the wooden watches as soon as I finished the painter radar and the stand with it. But then the network changed all to 4G and I had to get a new phone and that means my new one doesn't actually fit into my old amplifier. And also the holes for the sound to come out don't line up as well. So I'm going to make a new one before making the wooden watches because I have no way to survive sanding all those parts without music. Now I was actually going to design something really crazy, something that can also tilt horizontally like Mark 6 and also be able to have the cable to come through, the charging cable. But that turned out great and I spent like 12 hours on it and still couldn't get any further than Mark 6. So I decided to just stick with Mark 4 which I think was the best sound that I've got out of all 5 of them that I built. For the amplifier I'm going to use this nice piece of birch that I've been saving for a project like this. And it just seems to be the right size as if it was destined to be made into this speaker. For the middle piece, one piece of birch isn't actually thick enough, so I'm going to glue two pieces together. But first I'm going to scrape the surface first for a seamless joint. Now it's time to focus on the top and bottom. I am using a scrap piece of wood to press the workpiece down as it exits the planer so that the ends don't get chewed up. This is because the workpiece is 100mm shorter than the recommended minimum length. To cut the slot on the top piece to receive the phone, I'm going to use my pants router to do this. Seems to fit my phone just fine. Although not necessary, but I am chiseling the corner square. By then the glue on the middle piece has dried and I can resaw it down on the table saw. To cut the shape for the middle section, I'm going to use some one-to-one -one templates. My bandsaw just got a new blade, so it was like cutting through butter. And then I can use my belt sander to do as much of the sanding as possible. But some hand sanding is still inevitable. After quite a bit of sanding, I'm finally ready to glue this up. I'm trying to clean up as much of the glue squeeze out as possible because it would be very difficult if not impossible to clean them up later. It's been about 20 minutes so the glue should have firmed up and now I'm going to glue the second layer on. For aesthetic reasons, I'm cutting a bevel on the edge of the amplifier. Well, after a nice cut of varnish, one can easily call this done. But for me, this is where the fun actually starts. That looks quite nice. So now I just have to repeat the same thing on this side and also on the top. 
You know, sometimes I tend to wonder, was their first egg or was their first a chicken? But now I tend to wonder, was their first music or was their first tedious hard work? You know, I might just have too much time on my hands. Hey, that's a great pun. <laughs> now I do have plans available for this speaker, but they aren't exactly free. I've actually set up a Patreon page. I know it might be a bit too early. Anyways, I've set up the plan so that they are part of the reward when you donate a dollar per month. The plans I'm going to be putting up on Patreons are probably just more or less to drive people to that website and then maybe encourage them to donate more. I'm not sure whether that tactic would work yet, so we'll wait and see and let's see say it's kind of like an experiment. Okay, finally got this side done, but here comes the painful process of sending these marks off, which sends off some of my work as well. If any one of you know how to do this better, please let me know in the comments. And now I am forced to re-burn those spots that I have sent it off. Okay, time for the big one. This might take a while. In case you still don't know yet, the pattern I'm burning onto the speaker is leaves with my logo, the dragon in the middle of it. A little bit more information on the Patreon thing. I will be putting up more plans in the future on Patreon as rewards for those that have donated, if it works out at all. I know that people could just easily stop donating once they get their hands on the plans, but my point of the plans being the rewards is to encourage people to go to my Patreon page and increase their likelihood of donating. Although it may not be obvious, but I always put a lot of effort into each video, and your donation for as little as a dollar a month really helps me a lot in making better videos. Well, I've tried sanding it a little bit, which only was effective for the edges, but like the middle bits, it wasn't that effective. And I have tried rinsing it in hot water and also rubbing it, but that wasn't really too effective as well. I've also tried lacquer thinner, which I think was the most effective out of the three and really made them fade away. But if you look closely, you'll still be able to see it. However, the sanding that I've done to it has rubbed off some of the burn marks, so I'm going to re-burn them. Okay now I've got this sanded nice and smooth so now it's ready for a coat of varnish. I've gave this three coats of varnish so all that's left to do now is to throw in some music. Definitely feels a lot more spacious. And the bass is slightly heavier as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I've had a lot of fun making this with a lot of misadventures. Speaking of the hard drive.